morning, cyclists. This is Rick. Today is Wednesday, April the 5th, 2023. Start a bike ride at 10.51 a.m. I'm back on the Cervella Caledonia bike today. My one ride experiment on narrowing the width of the bi saddle has come to an end. My butt said it didn't work. So I widened the bi saddle back out, not quite as wide as it was before the experiment, but within a millimeter or so. Weather 79 degrees. Humidity is 83%. Winds out of the south at 17 miles an hour. Gusts are 20 something. I think it's 24 miles an hour. There's a front rain front approaching from the northwest. It's gonna, I'm gonna ride a shorter route. I don't wanna get caught in the rain. Hopefully I get back before then. So I'm gonna go north through Kingwood, uh, through R Wood Ridge Forest. US 59, along US 59 frontage road to Community Drive, cross over US 59 and frontage road south through Valley Ranch to Valley Ranch Parkway, south over FM 1314 through Briar Tree, Oakhurst, Kings Manor, and back into Kingwood. Hopefully I get back home before the rain starts. Riding on a section of the green belt. It's uh, in between, or actually it's probably the marking line between Elm Grove Village and Sherwood Trails. Before, the, before starting this morning's ride, I, I was watching the uh, women's race, spindle blur or something like that. Anyway, watched the replay of that. And then I started, or I picked up the tour of the Basque Country. A lot of climbing there today. And then I was eating breakfast. It took me a little longer to readjust the bicycle. I did both bikes, the Linsky and the Cervella, changing the uh, width of the saddles. It's hard to reach the uh, screws underneath and you can't see them. I had to do it blindly until I took the saddle off and then I could see. It made it easier. Should have done that to begin with. I'm in, uh, I think it's still Elm Grove Village, <laughs> but I had to think about it. Three miles, 3.1 miles into the ride, my sit bones and butt are much happier now. Happy butt, happy ride. Racing to get uh, this ride in before the rain rain comes. It was moving slow, and the weather forecast says afternoon before it arrives. So it should give me time. Headed west through Wood Ridge, Wood Ridge Forest on Soaring Winds Lane. On my way to US 59 Frontage Road. 7.0 miles times 25 minutes after 11. Average speed's 12.6 miles an hour. Ride 
riding west on uh, East Knox Street between Loop 494 and the US 59 Frontage Road. Felt a couple sprinkles in Wooden Ridge Forest, but nothing more. Clouds are, the sky is starting to look a little more rain, rain-like. Could be my sunglasses though. I'm at, uh, oh, I'm looking at my computer screen. I got two big raindrops on it. Well, not necessarily big, but two raindrops. 8.4 miles, time is 11.32. Riding north on the frontage road. About half a mile away from uh, coming to FM 1314 where I'll cross over and continue on. Felt a few more sprinkles, but they were spaced out. So we're pressing on. I'm at uh, 9.7 miles. Three-tenths of a mile more, and I'll consider it an official bike ride. Time is 11.37. Average speed is 13.0 miles an hour. Thanks to a nice, a nice strong tailwind. I'm at uh, Community Drive, Texas 99. Feeling a few more sprinkles. Hopefully as I turn back to the south, I ride away from the uh, The sky doesn't look like it's got anything in it to speak of, but it's there. 12.1 miles, time is 11.45. Average speed is 13.6 miles an hour. I'm gonna go into the headwind now. Riding through Valley Ranch, I'm on Valley Ranch Bend Drive. I'm going to turn left up here at the stop sign. Go through the other parts of Valley Ranch. Through Forest Colony. Into Azalea District and then on to Valley Ranch Parkway. At Community Drive, I was getting sprinkles as I think I mentioned in the previous clip. But I appear to have ridden out of those. Uh, that's good, but the sky ahead where I'm headed kind of has a, a look of rain. I'm riding in, riding in Forest Colony. I'm on Forest Colony Boulevard, but I'm going to turn right onto Olympic Forest. Stay on Olympic Forest until I get to... Lumix? I think it's Lumix or Lennox Street where I'll turn left. That'll put me into uh, the Azalea District. Feeling some sprinkles. 14.5 miles times 11.56. Average speed 13.7 miles an hour. Here's my turn at the street light. It is Lexor. I knew it had an L and an X in it. May be able to see the sky up ahead. It looks potentially wet. Riding west on Azalea Boulevard. See the wind with the flags. Riding south on Briarberry Lane and Briar Tree. I've crossed over 
1314. A short section of Old Sorters Road, and now I'm riding south headed towards Oakhurst. 16.0 miles. Time is uh, two minutes after 12. Average speed is 13.7 miles an hour. Still feeling sprinkles. Just entered Oakhurst. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but the streets are wet. Not real, real wet, but enough that my tires are, are wet, which probably means that when I get home, I'm gonna have to wash off the Cervella. At least wipe it down. I'm on Hosford Meadows. Drive. Make my way through. Oh, here the streets are dry. Good. Uh, make my way to North Park Drive through Oakhurst. 17.4 miles. Time is 8 minutes after 12. Average speed is 13.8 miles an hour. Wind seems to have that up a little bit as far as the headwind goes. quite a bit. Street's wet. Rocky Creek, or Rock Creek, I'm on Rock Creek Road Drive, on my way to uh, North Park Drive. Riding southeast on Kingwood Place Drive. Streets are wet, but it's not raining. Twenty point one miles. Time is 22 minutes after 12. Average speed is 13.8 miles an hour. Going to make the U-turn at Kingwood Drive. Get closer to getting back in Kingwood. Go north on the frontage road to Kingwood Park. Turn right there. Go 
for the Loop 494. miles 26 minutes after 12 every speed still 13.8 miles an hour